Hi guys, it's Holly. It has been a long time since I have made a video. There's my little girl. <laughs> She's watching her tablet. So you might hear crazy voices out of nowhere, but say hi. Hi. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> I am two, over two years post-op. Um, if you've watched my other videos, I had surgery November 16th, 2015. Um, my, I was not at my highest weight when I had the sleeve. I had the lap band back in 2008. Um, had lost 100 pounds, gained a bunch back. Had my revision in November 2015. Um, had the lap band taken out and then two months later had the sleeve done. And, um... I was around 320 when I had the sleeve done in November 2015, but my highest weight was, th my re highest recorded weight was 360. So I am now down to 205. My previous videos, I was down lower. I have gained back around 20 pounds, which I'm not happy about. Um, but being two years post-op, it does start to creep back on. Uh, you become a little lax in your eating. Um, you know, you start thinking, man, I can't eat veggies and tofu. Uh, well, me and my, we're vegetarian now, actually. I don't know if I posted that. Me and my husband turned vegetarian in June. So that was, uh, that was interesting because probably 90% of my diet was meat and cheese. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm getting over a cold a little bit, but um, we do not eat meat anymore. So I eat a lot of tofu. I eat a lot of healthy grains, quinoa and couscous and um, all kinds of stuff. We love falafels, we eat Thai food, um, rice. I'm not as um, strict on carbs as I was in the beginning. I was really freaked out to eat carbs. Um, but I've noticed that if I generally throughout the day eat healthy foods um, and not sh a lot of sugar and um, that I pretty much lose almost daily. But it's been a while because I've gotten very lax and it is the holidays. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. Well, actually the day before yesterday was Thanksgiving. Today's Saturday. And... Um, so, uh, me and my husband have been some bad influences on each other. We've eaten, we've been eating Brahms frozen yogurt, ice cream, and we had a lot of pie for the holidays. Um, we just get sugar cravings and buy candy bars, and um, we've been going to restaurants eating a lot of veggie burgers, which is good. They're like black bean burgers and stuff like that but usually they come with french fries which isn't a great choice we should probably be getting salads or steamed vegetables or something as a side so he's gained about 20 pounds back too um he's he lost when i, I when i had surgery two years ago he lost about 70 to sorry i'm holding my phone so it's a little shaky he lost about 70 to 80 pounds and he's gained about 20 back. So we're kind of in the same boat. We bought a indoor exercise bike. We have Trek bicycles that we spent a lot of money on, put a lot of add-ons on. Add -ons on. Um, did a big investment in those and they are in the garage and we plan on using them when the weather's nice. But in the winter we were thinking what are we going to do like we're not going to exercise and we haven't i have not been exercising for a while um i just kind of got stagnant and didn't really care which i know is bad but it's easy to do once you get you know a year two years post-op it i'm telling you guys that are newer it is not as easy as the beginning if you can 
nail good habits in the beginning and realize that this is not temporary. This is not, you're not going to eat veggies and healthy food and salads and stuff just to get to your goal weight. Hey, stop. And then be able to eat whatever you want. Most of us will not be able to do that. And I would say probably 98% of us will not be able to do that. We will always have to watch what we eat. We will always have to eat healthy. We will always have to eat lots of vegetables, lots of protein, grains, fiber. Um, <clears throat> one thing that has been really great turning vegetarian was that I my fiber intake went up extremely and I feel great. Um, it took my body a little bit to get used to it. In the beginning, um, you know, my husband and and we thought that we were kind of gaining because we we're eating a lot of rice, brown rice, um, you know, things that were carby, although they were healthy and they had a lot of fiber in them. Um, but honestly, it just took a couple weeks to get for our bodies to get used to that, and then we started losing again. Um, our bodies were so used to consuming all this meat and the majority of the meat we consumed was processed meat Which is just it's really not good for you, and I'm not going to lecture you guys on that. It's it's your own personal choice to eat meat or not eat meat, but um, We watched a video on Netflix called what the health and I highly recommend it um, It did not make us change our lives but it made us become aware of um, questioning the uh, government and what they allow these manufacturer companies to how how they process our meat and what they put in our meat and and our eggs and and what they do to our environment and it's just pretty eye-opening and and shocking Anyway, I recommend watching What the Health. It's it's great. It came out this year on Netflix. Um, Joaquin Phoenix uh, directed it. He's a vegan and very outspoken about being vegan. And we tried to become vegan in the beginning, but it was really hard for me. I ate a lot of cheese. I liked sour cream and dairy and stuff. And we I did it, honestly, for probably a month or more. Um, just went completely vegan and I could do it. It just felt a little extreme Excuse me <clears throat> to start off doing that and so me and my husband decided to just go vegetarian and um, We actually are called lactovarians if you want to be incorrect about it There's like a million different kinds of vegetarians out there, which I didn't realize all the terms but lactovarians are uh, vegetarians that do not eat eggs. So we do not eat eggs, um, but and we don't eat any meat, no fish, nothing. Um, but we eat other dairy products, milk, cheese, uh, sour cream, you know, whatever, cream cheese, all that. Um, anyway, it's been a really long time since I made a video. I think last time I made a video, I was probably around 185 or so. Uh, 190 and was complaining about being stuck there and yes I was stuck there but I was cheating also along the way um, being stuck there and that was why I was stuck there but I am 205 now which is sad but I'm gonna get back there I know what I need to do um, like for lunch I just had a bag a steamer bag birds eye makes these steamer bags of like uh, water chestnuts and these uh, like green uh, peas that come from the pod and carrots and broccoli it's like a, a bag you just throw in the microwave and I ate the whole thing <clears throat> which was about 150 calories but tons of fiber and good stuff for you and then I cut up a chicken patty uh, Boca burger and and chopped it up into little pieces and mixed it with the vegetables and put some hot sauce on it and that's what I ate for lunch. It was quite a bit. I probably I I biked for an hour this morning so I was pretty hungry for lunch. Um, but I'm gonna try to cut down on the amount of food I'm eating. I'm eating about 12 ounces right now, which is a little more than I should be eating. But you will notice the farther post op you get, your body naturally wants to start eating more. Um, 
but you can, it is possible to control it somewhat. I should at least be at eight ounces and I probably should not go over eight ounces of food. In the beginning, like most of you, um, you know, the first year or eight months or so, I was pretty much could only eat a half a cup of food, maybe a little more here and there. Um, now my dietitian and the people in the, in my surgeon's office, they say it's fine to eat, um, eight ounces to 12 ounces this far post-op, but, um, I, I feel like I could probably control it a little. I eat till I'm full and we're really not supposed to eat till we're full. It's, um, even this far post-op, it is a mental struggle to change the way you think. You want to feel full. You want to feel like you went to Popeye's and ate a bunch of fried chicken. Stop. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and mashed potatoes and rolls and you want that full gut, full feeling, you know? And I know you guys, I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but you can't, it's you have to change that mindset you have to stop when you're satisfied if that's four ounces if you feel satisfied and you feel like you aren't hungry then you got to stop and that is the hardest thing that I have have had to um, to conquer is not eating until I feel really full and I still do and I'm you know two years post-op and um, I know I can do it I know that I can uh, maybe do some some protein shakes again as a meal replacement and and get that back down there um, to feeling that way to at least being satisfied off six to eight ounces or somewhere around there but um, I mean, it's it, we aren't going to eat four, four ounces forever. I mean, there are some people, I think, that still eat four ounces two years post-op, which is amazing, and I admire them, but it's not common. Most people eat more two years post-op than they did in the beginning. But anyway, I am I'm doing great. You know, my daughter's three. She's crazy. Um, <clears throat> we were going to move to Portland, Oregon. We lived there before, and we live in Springfield, Missouri right now and we were really wanting to get out of here and move back to the coast by the ocean um, and I had some stop watch your tablet okay no. I had some I had a job interview that they actually flew me out to Portland and then they didn't offer me the job it was kind of a blow kind of put me in a depression I think that's not to blame it on that because I have self-control and I need to utilize that, but I think it kind of threw me into a depression for a while because um, I, I put a lot of work into it. I had two Skype interviews. I, you know, threw my best out there. I work in commercial insurance and, um, and then they flew me out there. You know, I used vacation time. I was away from my family and you know they put me up they spent a ton of money up putting me hey stop they spent a ton of money putting me up in these nice hotels and taking me out to dinner and stuff and then they didn't offer me the job so after that happened i got this really great job here in springfield and i keep getting really good jobs in springfield missouri so i think we're just stuck here it's just it's just the way it is so um you know, it's, it could be worse. You know, I, I'm making a lot more money. I got a lot more vacation. Um, the perks are great and I work for great people and I work for a great company now. So everything is going good. I am just trying to get back into the exercise routine, making it, you know, like, hang on just a second. Okay. I need to, you know, work out at least three or four times a week, and um, <laughs> you're dark. My daughter's farting. She's such a boy. It's crazy. Anyway, um, you know, I need to get working out back into my routine, and um, you know, the amount of food I'm eating, and. Um, you know, just choosing the right foods. But I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I just wanted to give you a heads up, you know, yes, it's kind of sucks that I've gained 20 pounds back. 
You know, I'm at 205 now. I was really happy that I was in the 180s, but I'm gonna get back down there. My goal weight is 164. You know, I'm 40 pounds for my goal weight, and and really, I feel like when you get to 40 pounds, that's when it really starts getting rough. 40, 30 pounds, you feel like you are just struggling to get every pound off, and, and it could, okay, hang on, shh. Um, and it could be, you know, it could take a while. But anyway, ask me any questions. I will try to keep up on this and post more videos. Um, I appreciate you guys following me and um, ask me anything. Ask me about when I started off, how I am now, any, any questions you have, personal, uh, weight loss related, you know, whatever. I am an open book. I hope you guys have a great holiday. Uh, Thanksgiving was just here, and I hope you had a great holiday with your family, and uh, we will talk soon. All right, bye.